and sisters in Christ, Christian Joy, our brother. There were 12 apostles. Some are very popular and very well known. Some are notorious. You have Peter, the head of the apostles. At the other extreme is Judas, who betrayed the Lord. Peter, James, and John seem to be the closest to Jesus among the apostles. But in between popularity and notoriety, in between closeness and distance, in between the very best and the very worst, many of the apostles were in between. They were in between, they were in the middle. They were ordinary people, not outstanding, not exceptional. And Philip and James are two of those not so outstanding, ordinary apostles. What did Jesus look for when he was looking for apostles? CJ, I want to tell you, as you already know, that none of the 12 apostles was an expert in liturgy. None of them was an expert in the Bible. None of them was an expert in law. They were crude workers, fisher folk, carpenters, revolutionaries, tax collectors, people you would hardly expect to be called by the Lord. Hindi sila bagay maging apostol. Pero bakit sila ginawang apostol ng Panginoon? I will answer you later. Believe me, CJ, maraming magsasabi sa'yo simula ngayon, bagay na bagay kang pare. Marami magsasabi sa'yo, ang gwapo ng pare. Marami magsasabi sa'yo, sayang yung pare. Marami magsasabi sa'yo, bagay na bagay, parang ipinanganak ang pare. Si Jay, huwag kang maniniwala doon. Demonyo yun. Hindi galing sa Diyos yun. Me, hindi galing sa Diyos yun. Merong isang malit na boses sa loob mo na nagsasabi sa iyo, CJ, hindi ka bagay maging pare. Merong malit na boses sa iyo, CJ, na magsasabi sa iyo, basura ka sa lahat ng basura. Merong maliit na boses na magsasabi sa iyo, pangit ka sa lahat ng pangit. Bobo sa lahat ng bobo. Boses mo yon, Boses ng konsyensya mo yon, Boses ng anghel mo yon, And remember that voice all the time. Walang sino mang lalaki na pinanganak dito sa mundo na bagay, na bagay, magpare. There is no priest here who is bagay, na bagay, magpare. There is no bishop, including Pope Francis, na bagay, na bagay, maging obispo, bagay, na bagay, na maging Santo Papa. Tandaan mo si Jay, lahat tayo hindi bagay. Lahat tayo misfit and unfit. Kaya ka nandito, mayroong nakita ang Diyos sa iyo. Ano yon? Nakita rin niya sa labindalawa. Fire. Fire. Zeal. Enthusiasm. Sipag. Yun yung nakita kay, kay Judas. Yun yung nakita niya kay Peter. 
Yun ang nakita niya kay James and John na ambisyosong maging officials in the kingdom of God. Yun yung nakikita niya kay Simon na revolusyonaryo. Yun yung nakita niya sa lahat ng apostol. Fire! Fire! Enthusiasm, vigor, zeal. That is the only thing that God saw in you. God saw in you fire. Not flickering fire, but a fire that is ready to explode and cause a combustion, cause other people's hearts to be on fire also. CJ, the problem of the priesthood is not burnout. The problem of the priesthood is bed sores. We are resting too much. We are resting too long. Fire, CJ. Zeal. Zeal for what? You look at the life of Philip. He was an apostle who was always bringing somebody to Jesus. He was an apostle who was bringing another apostle to Jesus. He was an apostle who asked Jesus about himself. He was an apostle who was always leading others to Jesus. So the first fire that I ask from the Lord for you, dear CJ, is the fire to bring people to Christ. The fire to bring Christ to the people. Not only in the church, not only in the pulpit. Everywhere. 24-7. You must always be excited to add one more to the family of God. You must not baptize as if you have lead in your shoes being dragged. You must always be excited with every baptism. You must always be excited with every confession. You must be always excited with every Mass. Because in every Mass, in every baptism, in every anointing, you bring people to Christ and you bring to people. And you must always be excited to do that. Excited. Zeal. Fire. Look at Judas. See his fire. Look, Peter, see his fire. Because that is the fire that will sustain you. That is the fire that the world needs. You cannot set, you cannot set other hearts on fire if you yourself are not on fire. Fire to bring people to Jesus. James. James wrote one of the epistles. Fire to teach about Jesus. He entrusted to us the Word of God. CJ, teach and preach. Prepare your homilies. Not from your study table, but from your kneeler. Prepare your homilies, not sitting down in research, but in prayer and meditation. Because the books can offer you author's opinions. When you pray, the Spirit will empower you in every seminar, in every homily, in every talk that you must give to the people of God, hungry for the Word. Fire to teach. As a priest, you will be the first catechist in the parish. Do not lose by default and just allow the lay people to teach because the priest is the first teacher in the Christian community. Study, read, but even more, pray. Fire to bring Jesus. 
fire to teach Jesus. And the last fire, the fire to be like Jesus. To be like Jesus is to be a holy priest. At the end of the day, CJ, that is all that we ask from you. Be a holy priest. That is all. You may stammer when you give a homily. You may not be a good administrator. But if you fail in piety, if you fail in holiness, there is no success that can substitute for your failure as a holy priest. Holiness. Holiness is not about not drinking. Holiness is not about not smoking. Holiness is not about not gambling. Holiness is not about not womanizing. Holiness is not about not doing something, not doing sins. No. Holiness is being heroic, being outstanding. You must be holier as a priest than those lay people who pray the rosary every day, who come to your Mass every day. If there is anything that you must compete for, you must compete for holiness. You must outdo others in piety. That is fire. CJ, sustain the fire. I know you love God very much. And God sees the, the fire that you carry in your heart. But after two, three years, the temptation will be to relax. The temptation will be to enjoy. The temptation will be to bring down your ideals, to compromise your principles, to cut corners. And then, believe me, when that comes, you will also start to feel tired. Your homilies will get longer. The baptisms will be faster. And the masses will be boring. It is not the fault of the church. It is your fault. Because you have killed the fire of God. Philip and James and all the other apostles had nothing in common except fire. With Philip and James, ask the Lord to sustain in you the fire to bring Jesus, to teach Jesus, to be like Jesus. CJ, you have struggled you have walked with Jesus all these years in seminary formation, but even more especially in these last months preparing for your ordination. And I thank God for your openness, for your humility, for your obedience. I cannot take it for granted, CJ. I am very grateful. And if only you will remain humble and open and obedient, the Lord can make wonders in you. Even if you're not as popular as Peter, even if you're not as intelligent as Judas, even if you're ordinary like Philip and James, the Lord can do marvels in your life Keep the fire, share the fire, keep the fire burning. Do not allow anyone or anything to ever extinguish that fire. Be a priest with zeal, with vigor, with enthusiasm. Never lose that sense of wonder about the mysteries of God now entrusted to your hands. I look forward to many years of celebrating the priesthood with you. 
And when the time comes, when we have to face God in heaven, may you return to heaven with fire in your hands and return the fire to the Lord and say, Lord, you have given me this fire. I have shared it with everybody. Here it is, Lord. Take my fire back. Take my life back. I am all yours.